you. Okay, Jose Mourinho. Uh, long time since a Premier League game. What do you do in an international break? You working, uh, resting, planning for next season? A bit of everything. A bit of rest, a bit of family, a bit of um, international football, a bit of um, preparing for uh, the next season, a bit of preparation for the next matches, trying to analyze my, my next opponents and elect a team that I don't know well and I need to, I need to know, so a bit of, of everything. What does it mean to plan the next season? Plan the next season means finish my reports, inform the club in a very clear way um, my ideas in terms of organization, in terms of structure, in terms of place to live, place to, to try to get. You know, this is end of, end of March. I think it's, it's a good time for a, a final view, a final analyze and a final report. Sir Alex Ferguson said this week that you've been a bit unlucky. Um, do you think Man United deserve to be in the position you are in? Are you the fifth best team in the Premier League right now, about? No, I think we were really a bit, a bit um, unlucky, but uh, we can also blame ourselves for, for some. Um, how? How? Look, we were a bit unlucky because we had, I think, six or seven matches at Old Trafford where the um, opponent goalkeeper was the man of the match. And um, when they were, they deserve because we had amazing performances by opponent goalkeepers. We had um, many matches with, um, I want to call it, unfortunate decisions by, by the referees mm -hmm. that, that punished us. So we lost many, many points um, by keeping an unbeatable run amazing of I think 19, 20 matches, but with too many draws. Mm. And sometimes this difference between the draw and the victory makes a huge difference. If you sum three or four matches and three or four draws, mm. that could be three or four victories. You are speaking about six, eight, ten more points, and that would, would leave us in the second uh, maximum third position, which I would think would be would be okay, mm. would be okay for us. Uh, this season, again, in general, a lot of talk about referees. Um, yesterday, we really witnessed for the first time on the biggest stage video refereeing. Do you think it's time to give the referees help? Of course, of course. Um, it's easy for us to be critical with the referees because it's, it's, it's our nature. And when the mistake is there, we go immediately to the, to the critic. But I think we should be critical with the unfair result as the consequence of that mistake. But we shouldn't be critics with the referees because many times it's impossible for them to have, to have the right decision. So, of course, technology helps. Yesterday, the result would be completely, completely different. You know? We have the basic one, which is the goal line technology. No more confusion. No more drama, no more doubts, no more the ball that was a goal or was not a goal. In this moment, we just look to the, to the referee, we just look to the screen and the right decision is made. This is the basic one, but with conditions for more, I think even for the referees and for the referees' status and profile and respect and everything, I think is, is a must. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he talks about conquering. He did it in Italy, maybe not in Spain, he did it in France. What does it take for him to conquer England? I think he did it. Uh, with 35 years old, to come, to score goals, to win uh, two trophies, to score at Wembley in these two finals, um, to have the respect of uh, the crowd, the supporters, even the pundits, some of them uh, normally and by nature very critic. I think he conquered, I think he, he did it. He's not going to be champion, that's, that's clear, but he still has a chance to bring the team to the Champions League. He still has a chance to play a, an European final in his country. I think he is doing very, very well and in, 
we cannot say total success because for that you need to win everything. But you can speak about a successful year for him. What or who is your team lacking uh, to be at the absolute top? How can Slatan Ibrahimovic be a champion of England next season? Well, it would be easy if we could steal players from the direct opponents, which I think in this moment in the English reality is very difficult to do it. You can do that in, in France, in Germany, in Spain, in Holland, in every country you can do that. You go to the, to the best opponents and you buy the best players, you improve and you leave your uh, rival in a difficult situation. So you cannot buy anyone I don't from, think. from the, the other top six sides? Normally, no. Normally it's very difficult. Everybody is very powerful. Mm. Everybody is strong economically. Everybody has the power to refuse. Oh, so is, that is... Not even a player who has one year left of his contract? Yeah, there are always little gates open that you can try to explore. But the nature of, of the, the transfer market mm. changed completely in England mm. with the amazing power that everyone, that everyone has. So we need to, to improve, we need to work what we have, we need to try to have a successful transfer market, to try to get the right people to arrive and to try to perform as soon as possible, like this season. Mkhitaryan took a little bit more time, but, uh, but Zlatan was, was immediately and tried to, tried to be happy with, with the market. First, the special one, then the happy one. Here you call yourself the calm one. What makes you calm here? Experience and the profile, and the profile of the job. Um, I knew, uh, the club knew that was not the job to come and to win immediately. Mm -hmm. and the squad was not ready for that. The club was not ready for that. Some important players were going to the last period of their career, some others they were not ready and they were not used to belong to a winning mentality which is uh, quite, quite difficult to get. So the job was not arrive and give the last push to, to, to win it. So I had to be calm because that goes a little bit against my nature. I always try to go and go immediately to try to to be objective, direct, go ruthless. Mm -hmm. The profile of the job was was completely different. So your fans can also keep calm and trust Mourinho. If they don't trust me, who they trust? You know, since 2004, I don't do another thing than winning titles. They have to trust. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.